This game of catch is loaded with history. <laughs> the knuckleball, synonymous with Red Sox legend Tim Wakefield, a pitch so difficult to command, there's no one currently in the major leagues who specializes in it. Like this? No, uh, yeah, like this, always. Mm -hmm. Always. But my, the fingers mm -hmm. on release have to show like that. Oh, Not, really? But thanks to Wakefield, a specialist does exist. Meet Eri Yoshida. She, yes, she, is a 31-year-old Japanese baseball player who's carved out a pro career using the knuckleball. Yoshida says when she was 15 years old, she saw Wakefield pitching on TV. She was one of very few girls playing baseball at the time and thought to herself, if she can figure out the knuckleball, maybe she could play professionally. A few years later, she had an opportunity through a Japanese television show to go to Red Sox spring training to meet and learn from the knuckleball king himself. The meeting was awesome and I played catch with her and I was like, I was like wow, she's really got a good knuckleball. So it was a blessing to, to be able to, to pass down some information. Yoshida went on to play in independent leagues with men in both America and Japan with hopes of reaching the big leagues using her knuckleball, but it hasn't quite gone her way. After some time off with injuries, she's giving her dream one more go this summer in the Empire Baseball League, a men's league in upstate New York, driving distance from Boston. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Yes. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. She drove seven hours overnight after her final game of the season for this reunion over a decade later with her hero, a moment that triggered all the feels. Apologizing for her uncontrollable tears, she told me she's overwhelmed thinking about how this all started with Wakefield, a true master of the knuckleball art, a mastery that still feels so far away for her, but continues to inspire her. <laughs> Eri Yoshida was absolutely in awe taking in Fenway Park and her experience with Tim Wakefield, but her journey is pretty incredible. She is actually in the Baseball Hall of Fame because she is the first female pitcher to pitch professionally in two different countries. She also visited the Hall of Fame for the first time this summer. Her member's card, a symbol of the trail she's already blazed. Be more wow. top to bottom, mm -hmm. not side to side. But she wants her legacy to be the knuckleball, encouraging young players to try it with the knowledge gifted to her by Wakefield then and now. You still got it. <laughs> it's, it's my honor to pass on to you. Now it's your job to pass on to others, right? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> At Fenway Park, Naoko Funayama, WCVB Sports Center 5. Oh, come on, that was amazing. I think she's got a role ahead of her as a coach. That's right, absolutely. Teaching others, passing it on. Pass that on.